Did Sony's secret weapon just leak for the PlayStation 5? Wow, this could be game changing. Also, a surprising Nintendo Switch game is coming. Let's talk about it. What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get to the news, some pretty juicy news for this video. First, give the video a thumbs up. Right there, right there. The like button is right there. Right there somewhere. Just thumbs up. Also, it is May 31st tomorrow. I will be the announcing the giveaway winner. Two things, make sure you're subscribed right here on YouTube and follow me on Twitter. $60 digital code is up for grabs. Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, or Xbox One. All right, let's get to the news. Wow. This could be game-changing for the PlayStation 5 if this is true. Here's why I think this could happen. First, this is the leak. Um, this was actually re um, tweeted by Next Gen Player, an industry insider, um, an industry journalist, a longtime industry journalist, and he's quoting an article from Reddit. This is what he says, and this is what Reddit says. I'm going to share my thoughts. PlayStation 5 will run PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4 games. We already know that. And this is it. <coughs> DualSense has a touch screen, says a major Turkish retailer and this is the article probably the biggest online shopping site this is from reddit in Turkey called Hapis Burada launched a page for PlayStation 5 and it suggests that PlayStation 5 will run every PlayStation 2 PlayStation 3 um, and as we know already PlayStation 4 games with the subtitle unique design that connects old and new that's cool that's good to know if that's true uh, full backwards compatibility Sony has a lot of catching up to do with Xbox in that realm. But this is the juicy part. Also, there is a statement that DualSense will have a touch screen suggesting we will be using it to see in-game maps simultaneously while playing the game. Bro, this is some Wii U Nintendo stuff. What do I mean? One of the cool things about the Wii U was the dual use of the gamepad. You had your game up there, but you could also use the gamepad as a second screen for maps and different things. Now that Ghost of Tsushima makes sense. Where Ghost of Tsushima just has everything clear. Um, maybe for the PlayStation 5 version, there'll be a mini map on the controller and so according to this leak they're saying the PlayStation 5 DualSense is actually a touch screen now let's let's look at this and I'm gonna show you um why I think this could be cool bro check out the indentation I mean it, it, this also has an indentation but what if that yellow thing the white the yellow the white area that we see right there what if this is some kind of cover that flips up or flips off and reveals a screen underneath bro this is why i, I low-key sort of believe this i'm trying to get a full check this out <coughs> all right they're showing just a playstation control i'm trying to get uh that's it bro look at how around the edge of it it glows almost hinting there's something going on underneath that white covering that's maybe why it's called the dual sense what if you can take this controller on the go 
and still play games in some capacity with just the controller. This could be game changing, bro. And so according to this leak, um, the DualSense is actually has a touch screen. Now it could be lost in translation and maybe they meant to say touch pad instead of screen, but there's a huge difference when you say a screen. That, um, and they also said that it, in d detail that you'll possibly have in-game maps on the screen or whatnot. That's what it's saying on Reddit. Bro, it brings me back to this concept video. Bro, check this out. This is someone doing a concept video of the PlayStation controller. Maybe this dude who did this concept video knows more than we do. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. <coughs> Booyah! And a screen pops up. And that's crazy. If that is true, that would be lit. That would be a game changer, in my opinion, for Sony. Um, remember, um, Shua Yoshida, I remember at the Switch, Nintendo Switch reveal presentation, he was there taking pictures, meaning he was taking notes. This is what I say about the Switch. The Switch is a great handheld and a mediocre home console <laughs> if we just keep it real if you're comparing it to what's out on the market meaning the the switch shines in handheld mode you can play games that you can't play anywhere else in a handheld form that's the switch beats everything but when it comes to home console it lacks a little bit what if sony has solved the handheld home console dilemma where you can still play your games on the go using the dual sense controller bro things are about to be crazy man i can't wait to see what sony's gonna announce with the actual console reveal and more stuff but again just recapping this room before we get to the rest of the news we got this nintendo switch news is fire reddit and it's saying that the DualSense actually has a touch screen. So under that white thing you see right there, that could very well be a screen of some sort. And the white could just be a covering for it. Can't wait, can't wait for this Sony reveal. Next news item. We could be getting some surprising Nintendo Switch games. This is coming courtesy of Saber Interactive. Now, this article is from comicbookgaming.com, comicbook.com. A new Nintendo Switch teaser from Saber Interactive hints a big and surprising games coming to Switch and Switch Lite in the future. All right, the international studio is one of the best in the business when it comes to Nintendo Switch ports. Yeah, Saber Interactive, they port them games, bro. I think they're the ones who did uh, Witcher 3. In fact, it may be the best in the industry in that regard. To this day, it's unclear what type of widgetry the developers use. Yep, to get Witcher 3 running on the Switch. That said, according to the developer, or more specifically, CEO Matthew Kark, the underpowered console actually has some untapped potential. In fact, Kark suggests not only is there more power developers can get out of the system, but seemingly teases some upcoming titles. Uh, this is his quote, the CEO of Saber Interactive. We're big fans of the Nintendo Switch and feel there is still a lot of great potential in the hardware and the platform. I'm speaking to WCCCF Tech. We've had enormous success so far, launching many titles on the Switch, and we are continuing to develop for the platform. We do feel there are more developers who can get out of the Switch. We wait. We do feel there are more that developers can get out of the Switch hardware. They messed up on the article if you read the actual sentence. All right, and they end it with, and we think, check this out, fans will be surprised at some of the upcoming titles for it so they're saying fans are about to be surprised with the games coming out on the switch i can't wait to see what nintendo has to offer hey i'm here for it what do you guys think about this news sound off in the comment section below i want to know 
But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. Why Splatoon? Why this? Because Ninjala. Huh, surprise news item. Ninjala beta is out today, and I refer to it as the poor man Splatoon. See, we tied in the GIF. We out. <laughs> Where's my outro? Right here. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, Follow me on Twitter at Obi Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.